Hello friends, this is a class on energy body. I will talk on what is energy body, its function, purpose and abilities. And this is all a general information without looking into very deep details. And for those who would like to study deeper and practice, I am creating a paid content on my Patreon channel. In future I will share with you a link to my Patreon channel and each class will be like an individual workshop, sometimes up to two or three hours. It will include theory and practice. I will let you know when it's ready and share the link. And now let's begin diving into energy body, the true resource of your potential. So everything in life and universe begins from an idea. Whatever you take, let's say this YouTube channel, before it existed, the developers had an idea of creating a platform where all content can be shared and watched. Perhaps first idea was just a small sparkle of impulse and then it started growing. One idea turned into two and then into thousands and into a whole project. Or let's take another example. It's you. Before you were born and even before you were conceived and even before your parents met each other, there was already an idea of a potential new life. They met and this idea started growing as they developed physical relationship and then you were conceived. Then this idea of future you continued developing. You were already an embryo, but without specification, what kind of woman or man, how you will behave, how you will talk, how you will look, all of this was an idea on that stage. So every idea eventually leads to a result. But what does idea need in order to become a result? It's energy. As I mentioned in both example, YouTube channel or conception of a human being, at every stage of expansion of an idea, a resource is needed in order to lead to the final result. Let's Put these three criteria into a triangle structure for better understanding. Idea is the tip or the impulse that leads to an energy that leads to a result. And then it all cycles again and again. More ideas require more energy and more results are manifested and so on. Eventually, it becomes a whole network of ideas with huge energetic support and results that we may call a life. We can also look at these criteria and label them as information, energy and matter. Idea is information and if it doesn't grow, it's dead. But if it is charged with energy, it becomes physical matter. These three can also be seen through lens of consciousness, energy body and physical body. And this is the blueprint of every living being, whether you take a plant, a rock, mineral or animal or human. What possesses such ability to acknowledge ideas, structure them, be aware of them and continue developing? Of course, it's consciousness. And then ideas engage and interact. These dynamics between them generates energy. For example, an apple, just an apple is a very simple primitive state. If I would say red apple, 
there is already change in the information and of course certain energy turns apple into red apple now let's say this apple is sour now it's not just an apple it's red and it's sour all of this is information in the process of change and development. Eventually there is so much energy that has own direction, flow and tides, that it becomes a complicated vital structure that we can call energy body. So the apple and you both have energy body. This energy body becomes a blueprint for the next stage, physicality. And this process doesn't ever stop. Not with lack of energy, not with death. In every living organism, in every chemical, and in your DNA. What is DNA if not a code or information that is embedded into energetic developing structure and manifest as a cell? It's constantly evolving, changing, substituting, cancelling and restarting. Now this is clear. But in order for this triangle structure or for these three criteria to become a real living experience, we need three more criteria. First two are time and space. Because all of this process that I am describing requires certain natural conditions. For example, your DNA, which is information, energy and matter, will occur somewhere. It will take a certain place and manifest in a certain time. Both time and space are also changing and developing during the whole process of life. So time and space are the natural production of the whole cycle between consciousness, energy body and physical body. And one final criteria is needed. What do you think it can be? What is missing here? If you want, you can write it down in the comments because I'm really curious. So third is the cause or in simple words, intention. This will make a final decision of the quality of the final matter result, quality or purpose. The purpose can be destructive or constructive, positive or negative. And when I'm using words positive and negative, I do not refer to good or bad. Actually, such qualities do not exist. But what I mean is polarities. And I'm going to give you two examples of destructive and constructive cause. First is Hitler. Hitler's consciousness carried certain information. It has specific type of energy that was born into a specific physiological body that allowed him to manifest his plan. He eventually gathered a good amount of allies in order to pursue his ideas. And his ideas of ruling the world were not just simple ideas of an average man. Most of us don't have such ideas or are scared. And I'm not saying just negative bad ideas, but also like the level of global ideas. So you can imagine how much energy he possessed. This amount of energy attracted allies and supporters, a whole government and country, and all of these people also invested their own energy into his project. So this was a very energetically stimulated plan. And of course, all this happened in a certain space and time. 
in a certain country in a certain year. So it means that all of these criteria are not picked randomly. They are all little puzzles of a whole network. Despite he had grand ideas and huge amount of energy, the cause of it was the destruction. And that's why eventually final result led to the destruction of his regime and himself as well. And here is another opposite example, is Buddha. You may think that I cannot compare such two opposite humans as Hitler and Buddha, but I can. And actually doing so allows you to understand human nature on a very special level. We can say that the most of criteria are the same. Great ideas, tremendous amount of energy, specific time and place. What is the difference between Hitler and Buddha? Of course, it's the cause. Cause of Buddha was evolution and peace. That's why it still ripples out after thousands of years. So here I may ask you, are you Hitler type or Buddha? Because there is both present in each one of us. Maybe your ideas are not so global and universal. Maybe you have less energy, but the cause, destructive or constructive, lives in everyone. Now let's move to the next phase of this presentation. Consciousness is the generator of ideas that creates universe. Each one of us humans is in the process of creating own universe, internal world. Each one of us possesses a certain amount of energy. And this amount is not static. It's constantly changing and adapting according to conditions. And each one of us Homo sapiens is given a physical vessel through which we experience union of consciousness and energy body. Every part here possesses its own vitality, has its own type of nutrition, digestion and development. According to science and anatomy, we only know about physical body function, though this knowledge is really limited and misunderstood. Consciousness has its own resource and use of energy. Energetic body requires its own energy, as it also feeds, digests and develops in its own way. And physical body is the same. Energy, resources, nutrition. This energy, like a vital force, flows through all three parts allows them to unite, communicate and interact between one another. And so lack of this vitality is the reason for many problems in our lives. When one of them is in energetic depletion, it doesn't have capability to function to its capacity. For us, we can witness this only through physical body. It is how lack of energy manifests. So your body is like a screen that will display and send message. For example, not all of us are born in a completed body. Some have innate mutation, inherited disease, absence of limbs, or even die in a few months after birth. And if we remove emotional reaction to it, we can understand and learn that something in the development prior to physical formation got disrupted. Later, in adolescence, a certain malfunction can also surface and a new disease can manifest. So the only reason for it is energy. Blockage of energy, depletion, leakage, not being able to receive it, not being able to process it, not being able to preserve it, and finally given energy away. There is a whole network of complicated programs that bombard our systems on consciousness 
energy and physical level that do not allow us to step up. The way these programs are wired and sucking energy out is tremendous and actually genius. But in this presentation, we are not going deep into these details. This presentation is a general overview and I will be making separate classes for energy body, for physical body and clearing separately because it is a massive information and requires practice for every detail. Such content will be available on my Patreon for those who want to start practicing and actually learning from inside out.